Here in Florida, Democrats are calling for a special session to revise our own laws, but the session needs approval from 60% of all state lawmakers to move forward. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen explains what Democrats hope to accomplish and why their proposals may not make it to the table. We have to do something. The people are screaming for solutions. Democratic State Senator Daryl Rousson says the time to act on gun violence is now. By coming together in a special session, we could take care of this critical issue once and for all. If there's a special session, Democrats have three key measures on their agenda. Expanding red flag laws, requiring universal background checks, and regulating high-capacity magazines. Rousson says these are areas Democrats believe they may get some Republican support. Those are things we can find compromise on, and it's a start. Each Florida lawmaker received this poll on Tuesday, and now 60% of lawmakers must vote yes in order for the legislature to go to special session. But it's looking unlikely. According to the Secretary of State's office, as of 5 p.m. today, just 39% of state lawmakers had even responded. And while the majority of those votes were in favor of it, it's still far from that needed 60%. Republican Senator Joe Gruters will vote no, if at all, calling a special session unnecessary and a political stunt. Florida has been very proactive across the board and when it comes to school safety and when it comes to, to the common sense legislation as it relates to guns and gun safety. He points to laws passed after the Parkland massacre, which included raising the age to purchase a gun to 21 and banning bump stocks. If some of these laws were existed in Texas, that tra tragedy that occurred may not have happened. According to Gifford's Law Center to Prevent Gun Violence, which analyzes gun legislation, Florida is in the middle of the pack in terms of strict gun laws, ranking 24th nationally. Tomorrow, the Florida Supreme Court is set to hear arguments challenging a 2011 state law that does not allow city and county officials to pass gun related regulations. That hearing starts tomorrow morning at 9.